Hi there and welcome back to Let's Play Kingpin, Life of Crime. Me and my impromptu best friend Big Willy here with the uh, rather fetching moustache slash beard combo that he appears to have. Um, he's pissing blood all over the floor as per is expected in all of the companions in this game. But never mind, we're just going to overlook that odd little oddity in this game. And yes, mysteriously, for reasons that I can't even begin to imagine, uh, for some reason, and, I, and again, I don't know the purpose or uh, modus operandi that causes this door to open, but yes, this door has opened in between now and last time. Uh, so we're free to go in the boat but uh, as you may or may not be able to see there is a dude waiting around the corner to shoot us in the face with a tommy gun so we're just going to do our best not to take too much damage in this encounter because uh we're looking a bit peaky in our health so uh hello, Mr. Man. just uh let um big willy do most of the work there as the guy shoots the vast majority of all his rounds into this door so uh, the enemy ai uh, not being great as always not so much in terms of its actual behavior but more in acts of shooting at me and so here we are on the boat i never thought i'd be on a boat you're coming to see me that makes me so happy yeah uh, all right, is that a friend of yours, Big Willy? I don't know who that is. You know, I'm just on this boat with you for some reason. You know, you're not even telling me what I'm supposed to do here. You're just wandering around behind me like some sort of little lost lamb with, uh, admittedly, quite a cool uh, handlebar moustache and beard combo. But never mind. Let's just look in the storage room here. Any bad guys? Oh my Christ! We've hit the jackpot here, Big Willy. Check out this swag. Oh God damn, this is awesome. Well, let's see what we can pick up here. Goodness gracious me, we are decked out like Superman or something here, although not not as if Superman wore a lot of armour, it has to be said. But yeah, we picked up some really great items there. Uh, we've picked up basically a full set of the top tier armour, which is brilliant. Um, and also I feel like we've, I think we've picked up a bag which expands our uh, ammo collection, although the game doesn't actually tell you that. But yes, much like the backpack in Doom... Oh ho ho, what have we here? Yes, we have the one of the great... I'm not your boss, Big Willy. I'll just come to help you out. You're just sitting there complaining. Can't you just piss away your pain like everyone else in this game? Oh, shut up, Big Willy. I don't care. Look, there's literally a health kit over there. Look, there it is. Just go use it. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, what can you do for these people? Nothing. I just know. And look at all this. Bl Big Willy. I mean, honestly, it's, oh, God, I, yeah, I, there's, there's more jokes there than I want to make. Anyway, so we've got this cool uh, grenade launcher here, and uh, we get the opportunity to test out very shortly. So now we are all loaded up on goodies. We are going to explore the rest of the ship, and I hope that they are uh, not a massive collection of bad guys to shoot, as would probably be indicative of the massive amount of of armor and weaponry which we just received but sadly i feel like that is probably what i mean i wish this guy would stop shouting random uh, unintelligible things at me because frankly i just can't begin to understand a single word that he's jabbering on at me and uh, we're just going to use the benefit of corners here in order to uh, help us out here and uh, go get him big willy good job my man you did excellently well there yes i am impressed it's just oh christ what's happening door is rusted shut Oh, right, okay, so, uh, several... <laughs> oh, God, it's just all gone to chaos. No, Big Willy can sort himself out, though, so that is a good benefit of having it around. Also, that magnificent beers of his. So, this door is rusted shut, so we probably had to find something to help us out in that instance. I think it's probably going to be something like a crowbar or something. I did hear someone shouting, but I don't think we killed them, so there's going to be someone spooking around, uh trying to get gunned down by us but we have made an excellent job of uh, shooting the shit out of everyone in the immediate vicinity so far so uh, let's just carry on with that modus operandi shall we uh, Big Willy is not looking great behind me it has to be said he's looking a little bit hurt but never mind what can you do you know you're just stuck with it I'm afraid Big Willy we're here to avenge your girlfriend not mine I'm just along for the ride just because the game tells me I have to be basically so you know you can you just need to take a bit of a forefront you lead from the front Big Willy, not 
from the rear. I'm sure that all the tacticians in the audience will agree. <laughs> so, let's see what's in the storage bay. Uh, yes, this uh, rough collection of polygons here does represent an oil canister, so we'll pick that up. Thank you very much. Uh, and we'll, we'll just leave the armor and health here for safekeeping, and we'll backtrack for that if we need it, although I will cut it out. What is he saying there? I mean, the guy is completely unintelligible. I mean, is he even speaking English? I've just got no idea at this point. I mean, like, what is that accent even supposed to be? You know, I'm going to hazard a guess at German because that seems like the uh, that seems like the sort of thing that the developers would probably pull on us at this point. You know, given that they are a big fan of uh, maritime German warfare films, because this this uh, level is named das boot after the film because you know it's on a boat you know stunning set of uh, imagination used there by the developers oh god i wish this guy would just shut up you know he's got nothing interesting to say he's just like shouting abuse at us i think uh, that i can't understand but never mind i'm just gonna ignore it for the time being uh, as i shoot guys with my tonic gun nearly <laughs> go again big willy oh no <laughs> he's oh god it's all going down Yes, the gunfights, as you can probably see here, are getting more and more chaotic as time goes on in this game. Oops, just, that guy took me out of ways, frankly. God, I was, I was not expecting that. Big Willy is looking like he's about to die, unfortunately. He is looking rather on the bad way. I'm getting shot through the graylings, which is not a good thing. Uh, so Big Willy has retreated off into the distance somewhere. And, uh, this guy is just begging for a peppering of uh, Tommy Gun rounds. So certainly that is what we'll give him. And yeah, I think we're all good. Uh, Big Willy, I think probably Big Willy is scripted not to die in these instances. So as soon as he comes uh, very close to death, he will run away and hide in the corner like so much of a frightened child, which he undoubtedly is. Um, you know, couldn't save his girlfriend from getting murdered, could he, Big Willy? Where were you when that was happening? And look, we even get some more armor here. So I'm just going to, uh, should I pick up or not? I have got, heart. I'm going to pick the legs up. Oh, I'll pick it all up, fuck it, whatever. It's not as if I wasted any of it there, you know, I just sort of uh, basically uh, absorbed it into the armour which I'm currently wearing. Let's just have a quick look down here before we go too much further. Just in the inter interest of not missing any important mission items, such as uh, a bottle of WD-40 or the like. Uh, these guys have got an uncanny knack of shooting me through the railings, unfortunately. Well, rather fortunately, that is a favour I can return for them. Uh, as that guy definitely jumps through the ladder unfortunately all that gives us is oh I, I think I just shot Big Willy yeah I think that was actually Big Willy who I just shot I thought I did recognize him but um oh dear oh well I guess that means we can just go home right as I just stand here and shoot this guy in the face yes it's all going horribly wrong folks I <laughs> not only have I killed the person who I'm supposed to be uh yes Avenging his Dale girlfriend, unfortunately I have killed him as well, so quite possibly uh, her brother-in-law or something is going to have to go and kill me to avenge the both of us, I suppose. Oh god, it's all gone horribly wrong at this point. Uh, yes, so here is the titular Heelman. Uh, well, I suppose he's not in the title, but certainly this is the boss of the area. And, uh, oh, hello mate, how are you doing? Yes, he is another one of these guys who can absorb an enormous amount of rounds. Unfortunately, he can't climb... The oh, here he is. Yes, I thought I was going to get away with... Uh... Yep, so um, it's another one of those boss fights, I'm afraid. <laughs> but... There we go, so, oh hello, he's got some mates with him, so we'll uh, kill them. He had 250 bucks on him, Jesus Christ, what was that Hildman? I don't know, anyway, one of them did. And at the end of the day, uh, we've got the money now, so isn't that the most important thing? I think that probably is true, isn't it? So, um, with Hillman dead, let's just, or oh, Heilman, I, you know, I just got stuck in the geometry of the ladder there, so that was rather unfortunate, wasn't it? But here we are, so we've got some more health, so I think we'll just uh, wander around this area, which was designed for the fight, but unfortunately I forced Heilman, <laughs> or Heilman, I don't know, either one of the two, whichever you choose, to, uh, yes, have the fight in a corridor, which proved to be his undoing. I'm sure you'll agree. And I forgot to use the grenade launcher. That was a bit un un inappropriate, wasn't it? You know, I should be showing that off. So we'll just find if we can see a poor unfortunate to use that on instead, shall we? Seems like a plan to me. So, um, yes, the game seems to be stocking us up more on armor now. And, uh, you know, although I appreciate it, it's all good. Um, 
yeah, it, it's more generous with that than it has been throughout the majority of the game, and that just seems like a bit of a shame to me at this point. Let's see if we can find someone, as previously mentioned, to use the grenade launcher on. Tones been running wild, fucking our shit up left and right. I ain't even saying what all this is doing for business. It'll be okay. It's pretty fucking far from okay. I don't think I'm forgetting that this be the same motherfucker your dumbass let off with a warning. He was just a small time punk. I never thought he'd have the balls to. Balls? Motherfucker got balls enough out of Hyam to pop a cap in your ass. It ain't my fault. Hyam was supposed to take care of him. Dumb son of a bitch totally fucked it up and then got himself croaked in the process. Saves me the trouble. I never trusted that sausage chewing motherfucker anyhow. How do you want it done? I want you to sick the dogs on his ass. That's how I want it done. You send some hard, pipe hitting motherfuckers over to back Mocha up right now, you hear me? Don't worry, I'm on top of it. Okay, well, uh, that cutscene took me by surprise, so uh, we are seem to be aggravating the men at the top of this crime syndicate, uh, and all's the better, I feel. Uh, although it does seem to be a bit of a mystery what our main goal is at this point, but never mind. We are mysteriously transported from off the boat and immediately into another slum area, so we'll explore that in next episode of Let's Play Kingpin Life of Crime. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. It'll be okay. How do you want it done? I want the sausage chewing. Must be running wild. Fucking our ass. That's how I want it done. You send some hard pipe balls to balls. I want you to sick the balls on his ass. Don't worry, I'm on top of it. Happy.